This is 3TV News at 9. I'm Karen Brown. New developments now in a house fire in Glendale that left a teenage boy in a wheelchair and a woman dead. Family members and friends came out for a special vigil to remember them. Erica Flores is live near 61st Avenue and Bethany Home. And Erica, a pretty emotional evening for that family. That's right, Karen. It's been very emotional for Elijah Martin's father because not only did he lose one loved one, but two. And he says the brightest part of the day has been seeing family and friends gather here, leaving behind candles, teddy bears, flowers, and balloons, showing him how much his son was loved. Melvin Martin says his 16-year-old son was here visiting his cousin when the fire happened. He often spent the night here to spend time with his 15-year-old cousin, the only one who who made it out of the home during the fire. Martin says neighbors helped get his 15-year-old nephew out, and once the teen realized Elijah and 49-year-old Helen Russell were still inside, he tried to go back in, but there was too much smoke and fire. Firefighters say Elijah and Russell died in that fire. Martin says Elijah had spine bifida, spine bifida, so he moved around in a wheelchair. He was a student at Glendale High School, and many of his classmates came to the vigil to show their support. Martin says it's helped him seeing Elijah's friends because it's been a very difficult day for him after losing his two loved ones. He says Elijah was the youngest of his children. I really had been asleep thinking about my child. You know, as people don't understand, you can lose a mother and a father, but when you lose your own, it's, a diff it's completely different. I left around a little after 9. My brother called me about 9.17, um, telling me to come back to the house. He called me, he hung up the phone and called me back two minutes later and told me that was at 2.19, 9.19, excuse me. And he told me to come back to the house, that the house was on fire. So when I got here, I asked when I parked the car and I ran from there to here. So by the time I got here, the fire department, everybody else was already here. And firefighters say that they are still investigating exactly what caused this fire. I'm reporting live, Erica Flores, 3TV.